Hi there, it's Dawn with the Project Broadcast Success Team. Today, I would like to show you how to grow your text list from social media or how to generate leads from social media. You can also use this technique in person. You'll just have to use your imagination a tiny bit to see how you'll roll it out, but it'll apply to both situations. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to share on social media. So people are going to text a keyword that you create to your project broadcast number. They are going to get a reply that asks for some info from them. They are going to then submit their info and then your freebie is going to be sent to them. Freebie is optional. Some kind of incentive to join your list is usually a pretty good idea, but you can go wild with what that freebie is. You can be super creative with it. In Project Broadcast, the setup is actually the opposite of what you see up here. So this is their experience. You are going to first create a keyword that sends them the freebie. You are then going to create a configurable form that asks for their information. And finally, you will create a keyword that sends the configurable form. And then I would add an additional step here. Uh, you've got to share or no one's going to text you. So share. Oh, that's all in caps, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn my caps lock off now. All right, so then you're going to share. Let's go ahead and set up these three things step-by-step step so you can see exactly how it works. And if you want to, you can take a screenshot of this. I am also going to be sharing a step-by-step uh, -step instructions for you that you can follow on web school for how to set all of this up. So if our first step is a keyword, we're gonna go over to the automation section and keywords tap the plus to create a new one. If the word that I am having people text me from social media is something like VIP, I like to make this VIP done because it lets me know that they have given me their information. Remember, this is the keyword that is going to send them my freebie. So this is the final step we're working backward. So I'm going to name this VIP done and save. And the only job of this keyword is going to be to send them my freebie, right? So in the reply message, I will say something along the lines of, thanks so much for that info, whoops, info. And you could even at this point, if you asked for their first name, can go ahead and tap the plus to add a dynamic field, first name, to personalize this message. Thanks so much for that info, first name. Here's your freebie. And I like to draw their attention a little bit. So I put a down arrow emoji pretty much every time I have a link to something in here. And this can be an external link. This might be something you've created in Project Broadcast. It really depends on what you want your freebie to be. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, make something up here. But my freebie's over at freebie.com. So thank you so much for that info. Here's your freebie. And they're going to go ahead and click on that and collect their freebie. And we tap save. The next step is we are going to create our configurable form. And configurable forms are found under audience. A configurable form is going to collect information from somebody. So we tap plus to create a new one. And you can name this anything you want. Nobody else is going to see this. But maybe this is my um, freebie. I'll make it even more specific. My VIP freebie in info form, I, whatever you want to do here. Sometimes I'll even say when it was revised so I know when I've made changes to it. Go ahead and save. And then we need to set up this configurable form. The only thing that I am going to be collecting from people right now is first name and last name. So I am making both of those things required. You can use any of our other default fields like company, email, birthday, anniversary, if you wanna collect those. If you want to ask customized questions, those are going to be in custom fields and I'll direct you to the configurable forms training and the custom fields training just so you can get an idea of how to set those up. But for the purposes of this video today, I'm just keeping it super easy and selecting first name and last name. Optionally, you can set a description. So you can have something pop up at the very top of your form that just kind of gives them instructions. So you could say something here like, I don't know, thanks for taking a few moments to let me know who I'm chatting with. Add your first name and last name below. 
it's something like this. You can make it as friendly as you want. You can leave it off entirely, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that now. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. The super important part here is we need to use this apply keyword to contact on form submission. What we are telling the system to do here is when somebody gives me their first and last name, please send them the freebie that they requested, right? So I'm gonna set keyword and that is the keyword that I just created. VIP done sends the freebie in that reply message. This configurable form is now ready to go. Our last step is another keyword. Going back to keywords plus, and this is the word that they are going to text me to get my freebie. So I'm gonna save VIP and the job of this keyword is to send them that configurable form so I can collect their information. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit pencil here. And I don't have their first name yet, so I might just say something like, hi there, keep it general. Thanks so much for your interest in XYZ, whatever my freebie is, right? Um, click the link below to let me know who I'm chatting with and the freebie will be on its way. Something like that. Again, draw the eye. And what you're gonna do here is use the plus configurable form and pull up the form that you want them to receive. You could even, if you wanted to sign off here, I don't normally do it in text, but this is the first one they're ever getting from me. So maybe I do kind of remind them who I am. So just proofreading really quickly here. Thanks so much for your interest in XYZ. Click the link below. Let me know who I'm chatting with, blah, blah, blah. Okay. doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> this is just an example. I'm going to go ahead and save. So we now have two keywords and a configurable form. And just to remind you how this works, I want to come back to templates and walk you through it. One more time, we set up our keyword that sends the freebie, that's VIP done. We set up the configurable form that asks for their info, and we created a keyword that sends that configurable form, correct? Now we can share on social media. They are going to text that keyword to us, VIP, get the reply that asks for their info. They are going to submit that, and then their freebie is sent. So let's see it in action. I'll try to make this super fast, I'm gonna come over here to chat and you'll see right now I have two chats in here. I am going to, from my phone, text VIP to this number and we'll see what happens. I'm impatient, there we go, all right. So we have this new person on our text list. We have this lead from social media. What they did was they texted in VIP that keyword was applied, which sent this message to them. Hey, thanks so much for your interest in blah, blah, blah. Click the link below to let me know who I'm chatting with. You'll notice you only have a phone number from this person right now. You have no other information. When they click on this form, it's going to look like this as soon as it loads. So here's the description for my configurable form, right? Thanks for taking a few moments to let me know who I'm chatting with. Add your first name and last name below. First name and last name are here, and then they're gonna click submit. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my phone right now so you can see what happens over here in Project Broadcast when somebody submits a form. So I am just typing on my phone over here and submitting, and it lets me know my contact info has been updated. As you can see, there's an update detected here. I'm refreshing, and check it out. Project Broadcast support let me know that this contact has updated their information. How cool is that? So I know somebody filled out my form and you'll also notice that now this person has a first and last name, right? Because they filled out that form when they clicked on it. The system also automatically applied my VIP done, which I asked the configurable form to do, which said, thank you so much. Here's your freebie at freebie.com. So this is the entire process. This is all it takes. You can make it way more sophisticated, but this is the basics of how to create a text list from social media, how to generate leads from social media. In the description below, I will link to you, I will link you to a few resources that will really help you out with this. And as always, you can text me at 254-545-9626 if you're struggling with any part of this. I hope this helps. Thanks for learning with me.